Oh, hello, Mr. Comrade. Thank you for clicking on this one. Let's see what you're up to. So let's deliver. And as any other video like this, I would begin with saying that I am going to begin this video by saying things I might or might not do while making this video depends on what you're up to what do you feel like doing or hearing or seeing of course everything is completely up to you because we live in a modern democratic world where mutual consent and common sense prevail right yes no, don't even start no no no, no. Mm -hmm. I heard it all before many 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 times many times mm. so what do we do here exactly we relax you the way you like to be relaxed by listening to a Eastern European lady talking with her heavy Eastern European accent. Right? Yes. I might as well say that I am from Serbia or Belarus or Lithuania. As a matter of fact, I have done this little expertise. They took my DNA and they tested it. And who would have thought I am not completely Russian? Um, I will do a breakdown for statistical purposes and for length of this little video of mine in case you are interested probably not too much as you are playing this one on a background and doing something else working relaxing Maybe laying in your bed sleepless or on your couch or even driving. Oh, do not, do not. These activities might cause drowsiness. Yes, I mean me saying about my genetic heritage all the 15 lines of blood mixed into this one particular individual. So let's start with the most prevalent, prevalent, I just made this up, no one's listening to this anyway, so the most abundant. DNA sample. I have Lithuanian blood in me. To be precise, 66 
present. Sixty six present. To be completely honest, they always change. Every time you go on your page on this DNA sampling service, they would say, you have some new results. Take a look at it. So they recently changed it into just Russian heritage. Well, Russia has some hundred plus nationalities within its large territory, but yet wants some more territory. Petty. Anyways, 66% of Lithuanian heritage. I think Russian Empire fought Lithuanian Duke, Duchess, that little state they had. They were pretty dangerous back in the days. Now they are just well off in the European Union. Good for them. Next. Yes, I just looked in my little spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. That did sound ambiguous. Not my problem. You only hear what you want to hear, correct? So, 19% of Baltics. I guess that counts as Lithuanian as well. I don't know why they make that distinguish. Baltics is pretty much, pretty much Lithuania or Latvia or Estonia and some other countries nearby the Baltic Sea. Continuing to something more precise. 11% of the lady you are listening to is Finnish. Not Finnish, but Finnish. It makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. As I enjoy sauna. They call it Lulu. The steam. They actually are able to put some water on those hot rocks to make some steam. Not like those toothless Canadian saunas where it says do not pour water on electrical heating machine. You would not enjoy this. Well, those saunas are really, really cold. Do not like. What other things are there in Finland? Of course, some vodka. It's not exclusively Russian thing. Who would have thought? Yes, invention is totally Russian. But we do not own the drink. However, Irish people own Irish whiskey, correct? Or maybe Czech Republic owns some beer along with Germany. And Belgium owns some fancy girly beer, Lambic, which I used to enjoy when I used to enjoy drinking. Not anymore, not so much. I guess when you mature, it just stops being too fun. Too many consequences. Too much hangover. Do not feel good. No, not at all. Okay, let's get to least prevalent DNA 
which was um, sort of surprising for me because I never, 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 ever would have thought that I am 2% Asian. Like, seriously. Well, maybe brown eyes and dark hair. Maybe. But those features are not exclusively Asian. Mm, I'll give it. I'll give it a chance. It's okay. My father had light blue eyes, though. Good for him. Two percent. To be more precise, it says Northern Asia. So, not like Southeastern Asia. Yes. Northern Asia. No wonder I like to eat some salty fish with some caviar or salmon roe, you call it. Never, ever, ever, have I ever have tried a caviar to my taste yet here in North America. I tried Alaskan salmon roe. It's industrially made and it was, to be honest, mediocre. So I would love to try some better caviar. But I guess I would have to go home. No, no, no. No home for me. Mm -mm. Not yet. Let's us continue. Which is kind of a consequence of being Northern Asia. It says another 2% belong to Mongolia, Central Asia, North. Okay, I call this uh, genetic test total uh, crap because it's just repeating itself, which is kind of good for the purpose of relaxing, talking, lady video, correct? Correct, yes. Everybody agreed, everybody in this room. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mongolia, Central Asia. Well, I guess I could pass for a local in Kazakhstan. Who knows? I've never been. Would love to visit someday. Well, it, that, that was a joke. It's just based on my genetic heritage. And uh, yeah, Mongolia. That brings me another thought. Because it's a common Russian Thing to consider ourselves to be descendants of Chinggis Khan because of the great uh, Tataro-Mongolian mm, they call it ego because it was herds of Mongols just invading Russian territories and apparently as any invasion it results in some children being born eventually. So, part of Mongolian DNA, 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 never mind. So, every, pretty much every Russian who comes from, whose bloodline comes from those ages, like 12th, 13th centuries, they do have some Mongolian in them because of that one particular conqueror who had many, many seeds planted. So technically, I have some conqueror blood in me, turns out. Fascinating. Fascinating. Not really. Let's switch to something less exciting than conquering other territories. So, 1% of this lady you are listening to 
is Norwegian. Norway. I would have not ever guessed. And that brings me to the thought that that's just Neander Neanderthal genes in me. So again, Homo sapiens went up north to get some food, resources, supplies, and met some Neanderthals back, back, back in the days. And they made sweet, sweet love. And here I am, 1% Norwegian. I always loved this Viking culture and hopefully someday I will be allowed to go to Europe with no visa. Now as a Russian citizen I still have, I need to get visa pretty much to go anywhere in the world. Well, places you want to go at least. So someday I will visit Norway. Would love to. And to try some surströmming, of course, it's, just, it's a must. I told you I like fish, right? Yes, yes, correct. And the last but not least feature of mine. I am less than 1%. Get ready for it. Japanese. Come in the side. Japanese, who would have thought? And this is how this genetic pool turned out for me. Feels feels nice to know where you actually might belong in Lithuania. Not the worst place to, place to live, right? I mean, Canada is great as well. But Lithuania, it's just, you say, I'm from Lithuania. And everybody is, okay. Let's go back to the weather. This was an excourse into my genetic heritage. I hope you listened to this rumble and some would enjoy it. Maybe learned something new about history of Russia and Mongolian invasion. Hopefully no more invasions are yet to come and the existing ones are over in no time. Good night.